Okay, now I'll need to show you how to get that silhouette image from the internet. So just minimize Inkscape and get your internet up and running. Now I Google silhouette images because they come out black and white, so you would go um, Okay, we found it. So just right click on that image, save as. We want to save it to our desktop. We'll call it Bride and Groom PNG, because it's a PNG file. Save. And there it is there. Then open up your Inkscape again. Go File, Import, Need it on your desktop, find the bride and groom, PNG, just click OK and there it is. You need to then turn this into an SVG file, it's very simple in Inkscape. While it is highlighted. Go to path and trace bitmap. Keep all the uh, default settings the same. Just click update then OK and then close. Now if you drag this image across you'll see it's much sharper. Down the bottom here it tells you that it's a path. In Inkscape a path is an SVG file. Just click back on to the original image that you downloaded from the internet and then just delete that because we don't need that anymore. Now when I showed you how to make this template to resize it, it comes out pretty good but it could come out that size. So all we need to do is um, resize it and just keep a bit of room for your either a header or a, or a little label that I'm going to put on there and then we need to save this again because now it's an SVG file. Save as and we'll I have a file Inkscape to Canvas ready, but for the purpose of this again, we'll put it on the desktop. Um, let's call it Topper SVG. Okay, now let's just minimize that and we're going to open up Scan and Cut. And now as an SVG is going into the Brother Scan and Cut Canvas and that turns it into an FCM for your Scan and Cut to read. So just go to SVG, choose File, remember it's on your desktop and this one was called Did I call it? Topper, that's it. Topper SVG, just double click and then OK. Remember I said don't resize it. So let's give it a name, um, Bride Topper, that'll do. At least it'll show up in the bees. Bride Topper, don't have to call it uh, oh, FCM, sorry. FCM. Put your USB stick into your laptop, press download, we need the left function here, download to PC, so just right click on that, save link as, find your USB stick, 
put it where you want to put it in. I'll put it in my designs. I've got one that says my designs. And save. Alright, the card size is a 5 by 7 inch. You're going to cut your width at 10, and 10 inches and your length at 7 inches and fold that in half. So just get your scoreboard, push it right to the top and then just score down the 5 inch mark. Give it a couple of goes. Now you could fold it by hand but you get a much much better crispness fold. Crispness? <laughs> crispness. <laughs> okay. So that's your card. So the first layer of the card, which is underneath the topper, using the wedding colours, generally that of the bridesmaids, you're going to be cutting this a quarter of an inch in from the card and it's going to be cut at four and three quarter width and six and three quarter for your length. And last but not least will be your topper and that's going to be cut another quarter of an inch in and your width will be four and a half and your length six and a half and this is the one where your silhouette will sit on top I've made the label from my uh, YouTube video with making multiple labels with the scan and cut and Inkscape and foiling uh, my scan and cut decided to go on the blink while recording this so I actually cut the backing of that by hand which is a bit messy but I'll fix that up when it works again so that's how that's going to look so what we're going to do now is we're going to get in to construct the veil the bow and the material I forgot to mention that the white topper that sits underneath the silhouette it's actually been embossed. You can use any nice embossing folder. Uh, this, this embossing folder is it's a cuddle bug and it's floral bouquet. Okay, now this is the most trickiest bit. So the best way I can describe to do is you've just got a length, I just buy a half a metre at a time of satin material. I've seen other tutorials where they use uh, wide ribbon, but I like how this one, so I'm just going with the uh, selvage edge. Now I'm going to make this so that she's got like a backless. And just on something where you can stick pins into and just start tucking in and follow the silhouette keeping in mind that basically all you're doing is scrunching it up This bit's going to be glued. It's a bit trial and error. But basically, this is all that is required. So start from the top. And she is holding a bouquet there. Feel free to add a bouquet.
And when it comes to the bottom, I just cut across, leaving enough, leaving enough to play with just in case something goes wrong. So then all that's left to do is just to fold that under. It really doesn't matter how that looks. It just comes out looking... Uh, and I run out of pins. Uh, take the top one off. It just comes out looking absolutely stunning every time. just gluing all these bits down. I'm not using this object here. That's all, all stuck. Sort of stuck enough. and thread now. Just put a knot in the bottom. I'm using clear thread which is a bit tricky to work, to work with but um, it doesn't matter. You can just pick the same colour as the material. Now working from the top what we're doing it's like when you, you, you make a cushion and you're putting buttons into your cushion and it makes it just developing that, that nice ripple effect. So just start at the top and whatever parts you pinch, that's where the Delmontes are going to be stuck onto. And again, be careful that you don't get a knot in your thread. So that's pinched it. your material and form some nice little patterns. Oh, that's the wrong one to use. sticky tape at the back so nothing breaks and pop that off done yeah. doesn't take that long it's pretty good and then all I did is I made a veil which is just from very easy. 
pushes from behind you can just stick that on there and I made a bow I don't know I didn't have any white I think I made it a bow just yet just what I need